Things have changed. The candy shop is open. All to myself. We're gonna have to take the bulls to the cows. We're having to kind of milk that pasture a little bit longer because of timing with respect to everything else we have going on here on the ranch because we got to have time to sort them up the cows and pull the dries out and go with them so we are here fixing to try to drive these boys let's go big red show time Let's go, big fella. Hey, don't do that crap. You best get going. He thinks he can take me. That would be right. Come on, big red, let's go. They would be running if they knew where they were going. All right, we'll get them going the right direction. Hook up with the others and put them in the trap. I need to get rocket, and then there's a real light Red Bull that I need to pull out of here. We've always got to start the funny business. Doesn't matter. They've been together for months. Come on, Bubba. They got a mind of their own. key to moving bulls is I think you just got to give them some time. It, it, you start forcing them, which I've done many a times, and they either start for, fighting each other or fighting you a little bit. Now, the Mashonas don't seem to be that bad, but I wouldn't put it past them. I don't ever trust a bull. They don't like it when you follow them. You can see him turning his head a little bit and peeking back behind him going, you still back there? He started the process of letting them know he's coming. I'm coming, fellas. <laughs> so we got another little, little standoff here. sissies. All right. That's it. Move along, fellas. Move along. <laughs> Always want to get right in the middle of the gate. Let's block the gate. Hop. 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 Let me get that old bull right there out of the way. Hey,
Okay, looks like we may have two up here still. Looks like one of them is Mufasa. Let everybody see you. Give us a full frame. What do you say, Bubba? Let's go get your buddy. Okay, I need these guys to go straight down the road. The water is to the right. What are the odds? Guess right now. Drop your comments. What are the odds that they're going to go straight or they're going to turn right to the water? Well, obviously, I got him out. Mufasa and his little buddy who took a hard ride at the water tub, he just went in there and got him a drink and came right back out and went with Mufasa. So I got them both out. They're out here just immediately doing what they're supposed to do. The work has begun. Only employees you'll ever have. You don't have to train them. You don't have to tell them what to do. You just gotta turn them loose. That's what we want. They're going to work. Oh, Mufasa. Y'all may remember him from when he was a calf. So I ended up putting 25 bulls out and they're all Mashona bulls. And so I feel like I need to give a little bit of an explanation about why. Because if you remember in some of the previous videos, I was really excited about going and getting Elvis and then saving the three musketeers out of the herd last year. Those were all half Mashona, half Angus bulls. And I wanted to breed them to the red tag heifers who also were half Mashona, half Angus. Oh yeah, I got some ladies waiting on you, bub. Let's go see him. My man. <laughs> the candy shop is open. The skunk tail bull, which was the one in the trailer that's such a fabulous bull. I put him out first with the Mashona Angus heifers and with the Mashona cows, hoping he'll get a lot of early action in. <laughs> But as you've been seeing with our ranch, we've been in a drought. Uh, we're, matter of fact, we're in what's called an exceptional drought, level D3. And so we're having to do everything we need to do. So originally we, we were going to bring the cow herd in and immediately sort off animals that we, we could possibly sort off. You know, dries, uh, any bad bags, 
anything like that that was an obvious. And then I started thinking, you know, before I do that, my first step should be, since I have more than one herd, I've got a bull herd, I've got a, a commercial cow herd, and then I've got a Mashona herd that I've got the Mashona Angus heifers with. My first step should be, be to join all the herds together into one herd. And that way I can increase my rest between grazes. And so we've got a little more time before it freezes to grow some feed. Now I don't want to get too far behind. I still need to probably pull some in and at least get some animals maybe that were that are dry. So I'll probably still have to do that. But this this is my first option that I should have thought of before, but I was so hung up on breeding those red tag heifers, the Mashona Angus, to the Mashona Angus bulls that I just am like, you know, I've got to have them in their own pasture. I only want them to breed to the Mashona Angus bulls, and that way I can increase my Mashona Angus quicker. And that just didn't make a lot of sense. When I can put all the Mashona in, they'll still have a great calf and a calf that's going to be acceptable to run in our herd. So we just went ahead and did that. So that's what you're seeing. We put uh, 21 bulls out today and we've got another two or three that we're going to put out. So uh, this will kind of get us started and get them working. At least get the, get the ones that are wanting to work out there working. Now I shouldn't say that because the old horn bull, he's back over there hanging next to the neighbor's cows because he's just sure that they're going to slip up and get too close. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.